Welcome back to Okami. This is Jimmy Joe. Um, looked like we had to leave, so I was going to see if I could find the next thing. And before I left, this <coughs> Kai said, Hey, wait! Hmm? You guys, wait up! Well, I'll be. I haven't seen you in ages. Is soon? Is that you? I thought I heard you talking to... I thought I heard you talking to Sm Smimical. I just thought I'd come back here and see how things were, uh, were after my trip. I can't believe what's happened to the village since I've been gone. And Sm Sam Mickles still as stubborn as ever. When did he become chief? <coughs> well... A lot's happened in the past year. Look, you'll freeze if you stay outside too long. Why don't you come rest at my place? And bring your white wolf, too. Find in shelter. Brr. At least, at least the cold is a bit more bearable in here. It's really been ages, hasn't it, Asun? And it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance as well, Wolfie. I'm Key. Kai. <coughs> Oina girl Kai. This here is Amaterasu, otherwise known as No Bath Amy. <laughs> now let's cut to the chase. There's no, there's so much I want to ask you. First of all, how the, about those demons that are pl 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 plaguing Kamui? Kamui. What the heck brought that on? No one knows for certain. Those twin demons, Le Lechku and Nechku, were sealed away by a brave Oina hero years and years ago. And they have been enshrined at uh, Wawaku, Wawaku, Wawaku Shrine? I don't know. Wawaku Shrine? <clears throat> ever since. Then, one day, they suddenly stirred and went berserk. The terrible blizzard descended upon Kamui. Kemu set out for the shrine at the top of Ezufuji to pacify them, but they nearly killed him. He was no match for their evil magic. Semiko managed to get him, but just in time, and bring him back. And they got even more violent and turned Edge of Fuji into a glacier. They unleashed a blizzard to smother Kamui in a layer of ice and snow. Chief Simicles trying to protect the village while Kemu recovers. But there's nothing we can do against those demons. We really are in a fix on <coughs> in effects if the old man Kamui's prayers don't work. The day before the twin demons suddenly went berserk, we had what sounded like an earthquake from Shinshu Field to the south. On that fateful day, Kemu declared that the evil force from the south had made its way here to Kamui. Kamui is sometimes called the land of the hidden darkness, and there's a legend that says all demons are born from this land. I wonder if all of the world's demons are coming back to Kamui now. A black shadow passed overhead from the south recently and vanished into Wagwaku Shrine as, <clears throat> as if it had been swallowed up. Actually, I think it, the blizzard's been stronger since then. Kai, there's something else I want to ask you. What's Oki doing with Sacred Sword Kitune? Ki, uh, Kutone? I saw him with it outside the village. How could the old man Kemu let him take it at a time like this? Oh, you met Oki? He left here with our sacred sword the morning after it all started. As soon as Simical was chosen to take Kamu's place as chief, Oki took the sword and left without permission. People from the village have tried to persuade him to bring it back, but Oki chases them off. He says he'll defeat the demons himself. He just walked away with the sacred sword? He didn't even ask permission? 
Well, everyone admits Oki's a great warrior. Even Semiko does. But it's impossible to defeat those demons all by himself. I just don't know why he did it. Now of all times. One last thing, Kai. It's about Semiko. He, he seems awfully nervous about protecting old man Kemu. It's because of Oki, isn't it? Well, everyone's angry at Oki for taking the sword like that. But you see, well, Semiko would say, never say it, but he believes in Oki more than anyone else does. He's convinced that Oki will come back and help the village. So then, why have to snap? Why why did he have to snap at us like that? He even told Furball here to get lost. Well, the day after the village was attacked by the demons, Lika went missing. Lika, as in Lika, your. That's right, my little sister. We scoured the village and the surrounding area, but we couldn't find her. She just vanished. Not poor little Lika too. Why would those demons mess with a little girl like that? We don't know for sure if the demons are behind her disappearance. But they would certainly have a reason to seek her out. We see Lika. Lika holds the fate of this village in her hands. The fate of this village? That was Kemu's howl. He's calling to you soon. He's summoning both of you. Kemu. Kemu. Okay. <clears throat> Shapeshifters in a village. Where exactly am I? I need to go up. Angry. Not gonna talk to him. He seems like an asshole. This is the village elder, old man Kemu, but looks like he might have already kicked the bucket. How many times did Gramps here tan my hide? Bah, this is no time to be dredging up the past. Grr, oh, is that bad mouthing me? Looks like there's so many hides to be tanned. Why? Why am I, did I just run away? Just run away? Do I leave? Or do I just run away? Eh, uh, I guess I'll. Yeah! <laughs> Can't hit me. Ow. Can't hit me. Can't hit me. Ow. Alright, fine, I'll leave. No, I can't leave! I can't leave! Ah! What do I do? Uh, there's a ah! there's an examine. There's a raccoon mask here. Guess old man Kemu is still into the collecting uh, cheesy stuff like this. Okay. Well, what the heck? Some invisible force is blocking the door. I bet old man's old man's working something freaky voodoo on us. Yeah. I have to... There we go. Huh? What happened? Was that a dream? I was sleeping and walking again? Sheesh, old oh man. Snooze a lot. Tans hides in his sleep too. Well, I a little soon. So, when, when I wasn't, uh, then I wasn't dreaming. Webcare Village Elder Kemu. Oh, I thought I even heard Michael talking to someone outside. I must say, soon you've grown. Barely at all since I last saw you. Now oh, I'll put a cork in it, Gramps. Did you summon us just because you wanted someone to clobber? Uh, yes, uh, let us get down to business, eh? Uh, it's a white wolf I wish to speak with. You've no doubt already heard this from Kai, but uh, her little sister Lika has gone missing. Yeah, we know about that. She disappeared at the time the demon started running amok. 
That's right. And her disappearance threatens the very existence of our village. Kai said something like that too. I can't see why you'd be so worried. But don't you think you're exaggerating a bit? No, we're not exaggerating. Besides, you have gone so long, how could you possibly know? More plot! We could gain spiritual power far beyond our own. Our power is now the key to saving the land of Kamui. Huh? Are you saying Lika's power can defeat the demons? Not exactly, but there's another reason we need her power. For it is for Ezo Fuji, the protector deity of Kamui. Ezo Fuji? As you know, Ezo Fuji is formed of the two active volcanoes. Each year I recite the volcanic incantation that uh, triggers an eruption that warms this frigid land of Kamui. Okay. But the demon's power has put Daijo Fuji into the icy slumber. Day by day, Kamui grows weaker and weaker, colder and colder. If we don't have Lika recite the volcanic incantation soon, the land of Kamui will become an icy tomb for us all. Why don't you just recite the incantation yourself, old man? I would if I could, but I no longer have the strength to pray in this raging blizzard. Any idea where Lika could have been? could be. That's the problem. We searched high and low for the girl with no luck. Still, there's no place we have yet to look. Or one place. Yosefet, the mysterious forest of deception. Gulp. I caught a faint whiff of Lika emanating from Yosefet. After all, I do have a keenest nose in the Oina tribe. I suspect she, she could be somewhere around here on your map. Thank you for pointing us. Okay. Okay. Uh, sure. I guess that's where the entrance to the forest is. I'd like you to conduct a thorough search of the forest. You gotta be kidding me. I wouldn't touch that place with a ten-foot pole. Oh, White Wolf, you are our last hope. Not me? Chief Samikul must remain here to protect the villagers, and Oki has left the village on some fool's errand. You're the only one left. Hold on a minute, old man. Do you even know who this verbal is? Do not mock me, little sprite. The pure white coat, those crimson mockings, and the divine instrument is no other than the legendary wolf Shiranui. That name is known far and wide, even in this distant land of Kamui. But I never dreamed that the legendary wolf yet lives. Well, actually, this here is... Shiranui, please, you must help us. Lika must recite the volcanic v volcanic incantation soon. Without her, the land of Kamui will be an icy tomb. I beg you, you must find Lika. I have warned the villagers to be wary of strangers, but I will make a special exception for you. And I will open the village's far gates that leads to La Lauchi Lake. You should get what you need from the village before you set out. Sweet! Let's go. Puff puff. Or maybe it was supposed to be his howl. Okay. Alright, cool. So, yep, I was right. That's where we had to go. Um, let's just check to see if there's anything that we need here. The Elder must have summoned you he, because he wanted you to go into Yosefet. Don't forget that the ch take that charm if you plan on entering the forest. You'll find it at the edge of the... Uh, yep, okay. I'll put a cork in it. We know that already. Okay, Amy, let's get going. Well, then let me give you this a bit of advice. Do not underestimate the land of Kamui. Never said I did. Now cut me some slack already. I'm going to go find Lika. Like, okay? I'm warning you not to underestimate the power of nature. Kamui... It's a harsh land without the, blizz the demon's blizzard. <clears throat> but you're a punkle, you should know all that, right? You do not get yourself killed by underestimating Mother Nature. Alright. I bet all of these are just, yeah, these are all just houses. I have a feeling there's not going to be anything in here. There might be... 
There might be a, uh, what's it called? A shop. But I think I have pretty much everything that I will need as it is. So we will go into the, the, the forest of whatever's. Ezo Fuji. Oh, wrong button. Wrong button. Uh, in there, I guess. Where exactly are we going? Back. No, no, back. No, 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 no! Zoom out. Oh. Okay, so I was supposed to go the other way, actually. I just assumed that it circled this area, so. Well, let's go find... Oh, wrong button. This one? Yeah, this one. Right? Where exactly is this thing? Zoom out. Where am I? Okay. Okay, so I actually have to leave the village. Ah, there's a shop. Fire, it's freezing. Kami has been a mess ever since those demons went preserved. Villagers have been slaughtered. Poor Leek has been kidnapped. Body and soul alike have been frozen solid. But you, the village elder, has welcomed you as a guest. You will want to use the opportunity to do a bit of shopping, eh? Yes, we will shop. We don't have anything to sell. Let's see, resurrection beads. Wow. Uh, well. Yeah, so buy gold dust because gold dust will be useful. I don't know how long it lasts, but um, I'm fairly certain that it increases the power of the current weapon that I have. So we will we'll use it. I don't know if it's a temporary thing though. Uh, powder made from golden earth that unleashes potential weapons. Yes. This one. Cool. How did it go with Kemu? Did he want to talk to you about something? It was a little more than a leisurely talk. We were asked to go look for Lika and Yosefet. Yosefet? You mean the forest and the beast? I don't think anyone's been there to look for her yet. Well, that doesn't surprise me. I mean, the forest isn't actually... It isn't exactly a prime tourist spot. This soon, are you really gonna go back there? Who says I'm going back? I was the one. I was using the royal we as talking about furball here. The Osafed is another world, like another world. You get lost and you might never return. But don't worry, Amy here will find Lika. If that's the case, I'll lead the way. What? I know you must be worried, soon, but we haven't got much time. What do you mean? The demons are waiting for the day of darkness. It's the solar eclipse that occurs once every hundred years. Oh, how convenient. Kamui, Kamui will be in total darkness for a whole day when it happens. Without sunlight, without the demons blizzard, with the demons blizzard going on, no living thing in Kamui will be able to survive the day. There are only a few days until the darkness day, day of darkness. If Lika is not here to recite the volcanic incantation by then, I'm a Tarasu, you're no ordinary wolf, are you? Kemu wouldn't have asked you to do this otherwise. Maybe you're the reincarnation of the white wolf Shiranui. You must be very strong if you can cope uh, cope with this soon. <laughs> and your point is? So sorry, uh, anyway, there's no time to lose. I'll lead you to the forest, I'm a Tarasu. Come when you are ready, I'm going ahead to the edge of the forest. Alrighty. Follow that dog. Fa get off the ice. Follow that dog. 
Hey, wait a second. You're not really going to go to Yosemit, are you? Uh, ignorance must be bliss, eh, Furball? The forest entrance has been sealed by the Onya Crest. Strangers can't even get in, unless, of course, somebody from the Onya tribe uh, whips up a spell or something. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Ugh, okay. Um, odd that it would do that, but... I'm fairly certain that but where I went before with the giant pole door thing, yeah, this thing that I couldn't do anything with that I soon apparently knew about. This mysterious, the mysterious forest of Yosefet lies ahead, but as you can see, it's protected by the mark of the Onya. Onya, Onya. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Uh, strangers can't even get in. Unless, of course, somebody from the Onya tribe whipped up a spell or something. You really get bent at... You really are bent on getting into that forest, aren't you? So, we were supposed to meet... What's-her-face? Here. Somewhere. Oh, there's something over here. Boop. A golden peach fills the astral pouch immediately. There's another one here. There must be spots that only appear at night. Okay. They, she said that she'd be here by the forest. Why can't I find her? All right, let's put a sun back in the sky. Oh, what? What? All right. Um. Can I get through this? No. Oh boy. What did I miss? Right, yeah, okay. That's not her, is it? No, it's not. said something about a spell, but I could have sworn that she would be there. Um, maybe I actually have to go buy a spell or something? Sure, he didn't have a spell. No, nope, no spell. What am I supposed to be doing? It 
it's snowing. Clearly there's not uh, any plants there. Um, can I level up? Yes. Oh boy. Um, whoa, I see. Oh, there's the stairs. There must be something that I'm missing. I've been playing in the snow and trying to make a big snowball. Got bigger and bigger than I planned, though. All the grown-ups complain about the snow, but we kids love the outside. It doesn't matter how cold it is. Why don't you try and make a big snowball, too? I'm only a kid. That's the biggest I can manage. But you're bigger than me, so you'll be able to do better. Just keep rolling that one there. Make sure... Make it really, really huge. So I just... Oh, I have to roll it over the... Uh... Why is it so hard to roll? Make it really, really big. Can I break these? Oh. Okay, well, there are fires here, so that's good. Not melt our snowball. I wish it didn't, like... Alright, this works a little bit better. I don't know the point of this, but... probably get something for it. Well, on the bright side, this is the episode before Christmas, so yay, playing in the snow. This is big enough yet. Big enough yet? <sighs> All right. Where did you roll my snowball off to? Ugh. Fine. I have to bring it all the way back. Bratty little kid. There. Uh, now I just want to know what he wants to do with it. So yeah, Christmas is coming up. Is there anything that you're excited to give somebody? Like a special, like, big gift? I know, uh, I know last year, um, I had a couple of big gifts the last couple of years, actually, uh, for Christmas, me and Ashley. And, uh, one of them last year was tickets to PAX for 2017. 
Um, it was a lot of fun. It was expensive, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, this year we're doing very, very small gifts. And by that I mean under a hundred dollars. Because we are both saving for a trip to the Greek Isles. A nine day vacation on a cruise ship. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, probably... Probably uh, talk about it when we come back. Um, but that's not till September, so a little ways away. Oh, I should have been doing this the whole time. Oh, I would have been able to see them so much easier. I made it so much harder for myself. Is there any more? Just gonna run around. Check for snow lumps. I think that's it. I got the last two. That's gotta be it. I will see what this prize is. Ah, come on. <sighs> Seriously? Oh, there, there they are. So if you ever do this on your own, just go systematically all the way from the front to the back and around the sides or go around the outside grab all the ones there and then bring it back because holy crap is this tedious to try to find every single one of them That should be the last one. What? This can't be. This can't. Do I have to kill the snowmen? Snowmen don't give me anything. Okay. I'm, either, either this thing is bugged, or I am blind. I'm gonna throw your ball in the water. It'll grow really fast. Bigger than me, so you should be able to make it really huge. Bite him. Well, this was a waste of time, because I can't figure out where to grow this person. Maybe the uh, things can be blown up. I didn't try that yet. Nope. All right, I give up. I have no idea why this uh, why this is here, or, uh, why this mini game thing isn't working. That took me probably 15 minutes. Ugh. That's annoying. That is. Let's see. Anything in here? And after all that, I still don't know where to find that she wolf. So, after much thinking and walking around and wasting time, <laughs> I figured this was the other area that opened up, so. We might as well go here. I don't know what awaits us here, but at least it's something to do to progress. Another civilization. Well, let's read some information. Uh, travel log. Another civilization. I missed a lot of scrolls. Modern Nippon offers mysteries that can't cannot be easily explained. Devices that even scholars in the capital are unable to decipher. Stone artifacts that endow the wearer with special abilities. They are thought to be evidence of a civilization far beyond our own. My great grandfather spoke often of such matters. He had traveled to the windy plains of Taka Pass for a brushing technique. While there, he noticed a strange light tracing an arc in the sky. The light eventually settled 
in the area of Sasa Sanctuary. Great grandfather traveled there the following day where the light had landed. He saw the mysterious symbol floating in the midair. It, had, uh, it is not uncommon to hear such tales repeated in Nippon. Whether one believes this otherworldly civilization or not, it would seem that many among us certainly want to believe. I am not ashamed to say I count myself as the, among their ranks. All right. What do we got up here? This is the altar where the sacred sword Kutone was enshrined. There's a great view of Laoshi Lake and Ejufuji from here. That's why they come here to pray to the mountains each year. Too bad the sacred sword isn't here now. The altar is also dedicated to the Ark of Yamato. It says that the Ark has been frozen in the lake for countless ages. Look, you can see it there in the frozen lake. That's the Ark of Yamato. There's a Fuji and the Ark of Yamato. This is a very sacred place for the on Onion tribe. Alright. Looks like there's a mirror up there. No more raccoons. Meat. Meat. Yay! Well, there's something up here. I bet this is the entrance to the gates. Or the temple or whatever. This is the Afun Gate. You must pass through it to reach the Waku Shrine. They keep the gate touch tight to prevent unwanted visitors. Like us. Yeah, see? There's another one. I guess I don't really need to save. Ugh. Odd that they would have two mirrors in one area like this, but let's see what she has to say. I know who you are. Yes, that divine look of yours is unmistakable. You're the legendary White Wolf Shiranui, aren't you? Wow, they've, they've heard that name here too. Well, I suppose Shiranui's legend did travel across the sea to Kamui. I guess it really resonates with the uh, Onya because uh, they're so spiritual. Oh, it's soon. It's been quite a while, so you're still alive. Onya Shaman Tuskel. <laughs> I ain't ready to kick the bucket yet. I just left on a little trip. That's all. Well, I'm glad to see you're safe. As you can see, we haven't been so lucky here in Kamui. Since the monsters were revived, many people have lost their lives. Yeah, I heard all about it. So, what's up with those demons coming back? And where the heck is Lika? Hmm, the demons have shut themselves up in Ezra Fuji's Waku Shrine. Uh, they're responsible for the fierce blizzard raging throughout the Kamui. We're managing to keep some of it at bay thanks to the Afun Gate, but when the day comes, uh, Kamui is sure to freeze over completely. It's not what worries me the most, though. What worries me is how the demons were revived in the first place. Kamui is is Kamui noticed it as well, but just before the demons made their return, a dark force traveled here from the southern land. We both felt an evil energy following into flowing into Kamui. That's when the demons woke up, as if to in response to it. Southern land. Oh. She must be Nippon. In other words, she's talking about the return of Orochi, Ami. There's been so many monsters here in Kamui that some people even call it the birthplace of evil. I can't help but think this is all, uh, that all this havoc in Nippon has its root in Laochi Lake. The eternally frozen lake at the foot of Ezofuji. There's a large lake called Laochi at the foot of Ezo Fuji. I think the reason Kamui is called the birthplace of all evil is because of the Ark of Yamato that re rests in that lake. The Ark of Yamato. Anyone from Kamui knows that story. It said that the legendary Iron Ark fell from the heavens. My grandpa used to tell me that story. 
Long, long ago of myths, long, long ago in an age of myths, an iron ark fell from the celestial plane above and sunk into Laoji Lake. The celestial plane is the land above where our gods dwell. The gods are known as celestials there. The ark that the celestials were on came crashing down onto the land. It was as if they were being chased by something. What they didn't know was that on board with them were countless monsters. One by one, they were consumed until all the Celestials were dead. Once the Ark crashed and the monsters disembarked and the start of the raging uh, and started ravaging the lands, the world hasn't been safe since. It's said that the monsters will still rise from the lake's depths. That must be why they call it the Lake of Demons. That's about all I know about it. Hmm. I do have one thing to add to that. And that's the story of the one surviving celestial art celestial of the Ark. Is that Shiranui? The Ark fell to the world because of uh, from the celestial plane. It was full of monsters which killed the celestials on board, but the legend tells that there was one man who survived. He managed to escape from the hell that the Ark had become and then fled going into hiding somewhere in our world. Huh. First time I heard that. They say the reason the monsters emerged from the Ark in Lao Chi Lake is that the ruler of darkness is still searching for that man. Ruler of darkness? Does he have a name? It's all just a legend. No one knows if it's true or not. No one has ever seen, set foot on it. But the Ark brought tragedy to our world, that's for sure. If the powers of darkness in the world are gathering in Kamui, I believe that it's because the Ark of Yamato is beckoning them. Hmm? I apologize for chatting so much. No, if you come all this way, I am to assume that you have Kamui's permission? I speak of permission to enter Yosefet, the Forest of Confusion. Yep, that's right. There we go. I really couldn't care less, but Amy's here is another story. The entrance to the forest is sealed with an Onya crest. It's our way to protecting the place from evil. There's no way I can, that even I can break the seal. But if the Elder has ordered you to entry, then I must comply. Shiranui, you may have the Onya amulet. Separolo. Sepa. Suaprolo. Suaprolo. With this amulet, you can pass, to, to, uh, pass the Onya crest unhindered, and you can proceed into Yosefet. Have I been saying that wrong? It's not Yosefet or something? If the elders deemed it to be right, there can be no mistake. You are the only one who can find Lika. Find her before Kamui freezes over. Well, we'll find out when we get there, I guess. Ooh. Where does this go? Anywhere useful? Some things here. What? What? God. There we go. This one? Yeah, right there. I wonder if this is like a secret way onto the boat or something, or maybe it's just uh, there's two ways to get to this platform or something. That's probably it. Yeah. Oh, hello, sheepies. Hello, sheepies. Well, I think uh, that'll be all for today. Come back next week and we will go into the Yosefet Forest, even though I'm fairly sure now that I'm saying that wrong. Um, because for some reason it just... Doesn't sound like a Japanese name, Yosefet. 
Um, but yeah, come back next week when we'll uh, continue with the forest. Uh, if you're enjoying my content, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next week. Bye.